man has created the robot to make work easier, and Czechs have left their mark on robotics. For the first time, the word robot was used in RUR, a play by Karl Čapek, who allegedly used the idea of his brother Joseph. The term robotics is associated with Isaac Asimov, the author of the renowned novel I, Robot. Up until the 1920s, robot and robotics had only appeared in science fiction. In 1954, George Duvall filed a patent for a device considered to be the first industrial robot. For the first time, a robot was used on an assembly line in a General Motors factory in 1961. So what is a robot? It is an automated machine that performs a repetitive activity controlled by a program that responds to changes in input values. An industrial robot is a reprogrammable device with at least three individual joints, or in more technical terms, degrees of freedom. The companies KUKA and ISEA, which later became part of the ABB, launched the production of robots as we know them today in 1973, equipped with electric drives and five to six degrees of freedom. Other scientific areas, like IT, theory of management, cybernetics, but also technical devices such as servo drives, special gears or sensors, significantly contribute to the development of robotics. It is no longer true that automation is only suitable for massive serial production. Automated workplaces can handle processes with a large variability of products these days and help lower the error rate. In medicine, robots have been used in laparoscopic surgeries for two decades. A robot will never replace a doctor, but will be able to assist in cleaning, distributing medicine, or carrying out basic treatment of patients. Robotic prosthetics and exoskeletons have a great future ahead of them. These rehabilitation aids will make life easier for amputees or wheelchair users. In agriculture, the Netherlands and Germany have successfully implemented automated milking, and in the future, they could also make use of fully automated combine harvesters and other machines. Drones, flying pilotless robots, are gaining ground not only in transportation. Modern cars are equipped with sensors, control units and regulators, but are not robots. However, autonomous cars, the cars of the future, must be considered robots. They navigate by means of lasers, radars, video cameras or their combination. Software robots perform the invisible work, such as collection and sorting of huge amounts of information. Modern armies lead the world of new technologies, including robotics. They use service and mobile robots. These are information systems that support tactics, management processes and command. Robots currently perform the majority of operations in space. That is because satellites, space probes and vehicles that explore the surface of celestial objects are regarded as robotic systems. In this environment, robot missions are much safer and more cost-effective compared to human crew. The Czech language handles the word robot in two ways. One, as an inanimate noun, when robots merely replace manpower in hostile conditions. And two, as an inanimate noun, when we are convinced to be talking about human-like devices with a large degree of autonomy. In this case, Czechs are referred to as optimistic roboticists. The rapid development of robotics after the year 2000 
is associated with higher computer performance. Thanks to it, robots can deal with demanding tasks by processing a large amount of data needed for the management and checking of automated processes. Also, the value of industrial robots is rising, while significantly increasing in robustness, speed, acceleration, loading capacity and servicing intervals, robots maintain or even lower in their weight. As robots can deal with more complex tasks, they are entering areas that couldn't be previously automated or where it wasn't economically reasonable. This spread was enabled by latest trends such as vision systems with features of artificial intelligence, augmented and virtual reality, digital twins of robots or even whole production lines or factories. The result is a continuous blending of industrial and service robotics. Ahoj, já jsem Michal a už od malého fascinovala technika. Dnes se podílím na výzkumu zaměřeném na zvyšování přesnosti průmyslových manipulátorů. Věřím, že se jednou uplatní třeba při montáži součástek v elektrotechnickém průmyslu. In 2018, 2700 new robots were installed in the Czech Republic, which globally held the 15th place. China, which aims to be the global number one, installed 154,000 robots, six times the Czech amount. The staggering number may beg the question if robots will not make manpower redundant. The most advanced global economies using robots, such as Singapore, South Korea, Germany or Japan, show that automation does not significantly affect unemployment rates and that workers are moved to jobs where creativity and human interaction, but also higher education, is needed. Ahoj, já jsem Robert. Už od mala mě bavilo rozebírání a skládání všelijakých věcí. Od autíček a letadílek jsem se dostal až ke skládání robotů. Robot za mnou, kterého vyvíjíme společně s kolegy na katedře, je určen do simulovaného prostředí Marsu. V minulém roce jsme s tímto robotem vyhráli třetí místo v soutěži Rio European Rover Challenge. Oproti minulému roku muselo proběhnout v soutěži několik změn. Namísto toho, abychom s naším robotem jezdili v Polsku, budeme nadálku ovládat jiné vozítko přímo z Ostravy. V současné době nám organizátoři soutěže poskytli virtuální prostředí pro natrénování a přípravu. If the Czech Republic as a country strongly orientated on industry is to remain competitive, further automation and robotization of industrial production and other areas is a must. And we are working on it. Michal, Robert, and no fewer than 20 other colleagues. <laughs>